When do you guys stop saying Happy New Year? Yeah, but for real, like, when do you stop saying Happy New Year? Like, today's January 12th. Can I, can I still say it, or do I have to stop saying it after, like, January 3rd or something? Okay, guys, so today we're doing a workshop, the same workshop that we ran last week, so that's why I'm in this area. Today's actually a doubleheader meetup, so my meetup, the workshop runs from 3 to 6, and then Nick is doing one just around here also from 6 to 8. Anyway, I'm gonna take you through Nick's meetup. He'll show you a few spots that I like to shoot down on Front Street East and stay tuned for the end of this video because I have something really cool to show you guys. Yeah, getting back to Happy New Year. It's a new decade, I'm not sure if you guys re realize that. I mean, every year it just seems that you get all this media advertising about New Year, new, new You, do this, do that, become a better person. Etc. Etc. I think uh, that message, I think, is a little bit on steroids. Just because it's a new decade, so I don't know about you, but I've got like a million emails about the subject line is new decade, new you. So I kind of want to talk about talk about that a little bit. How do you even start becoming a new you? I'm gonna meet Marwin again for a coffee. I have about an hour uh, before that. God, am I in focus? I love this camera, but sometimes the focusing isn't exactly perfect. So. Notice it a few times. I think it's actually really easy to start. Like anyone can start anything. It's just a matter of keeping with it. And I think the harder part is actually finishing something. Hockey Hall of Fame. I haven't been inside in a really long time, but when in Canada, when in Toronto, you gotta visit. You gotta visit. Actually, one of the first photos that I took that I actually liked was of these statues. I think when you want to start something new, you have to look at who you're spending a lot of time with. There's a quote somewhere where you're the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. I'm not sure if that's accurate. I don't have any background or I'm not a psychologist, but I read that somewhere. So if you spend a lot of time with a lot of negative people, then chances are you're going to be negative. So look at who you're spending time with because they can influence your habits more than you think. And uh, a great way to meet like-minded people is through meetups. Shocker, I know. Some, possibly some light trails here. I'll show you guys a really cool spot to shoot the CN Tower. So anywhere along here, it's kind of good framing of the CN Tower. Like you have the, you have the roof there, the tower there. And it's, I don't know, better in the fall with the leaves and such, but it's a good little spot. Okay, I'm just jaywalking here, trying to vlog and not get hit by a car at the same time. I'm sure it happens, so safety first. But it brings me, brings me to my second point about, you know, trying to become a new you in the new year. We're at Percy Dog Park, whatever you call this place. But don't compare yourself. I'll take making videos, for example. You know, you have an idea in your head for a video, you have a vision, and you start to make it, and it's not what you have envisioned, and it's so easy to like not upload, not finish the edit, and just stop altogether. But um, yeah, don't compare. Like, you know, I watch videos from Peter and Casey and Sean Tucker and all those guys, and those guys are amazing, but they've also been doing it for a very, very long time. I just started in January of 2019, so I don't compare myself. Like I said in the Lighthouse video, you gotta enjoy the process, you gotta block the noise, and you gotta have fun. I think it's so important to have fun. That's what I, that's what I try to preach at our workshops for Get Out Shoot More Beginners. Just have fun, and don't stress about getting the perfect shot, because it's not gonna be perfect. These videos aren't, aren't perfect, but uh, but it's fun to do. So um, that's kind of my mindset is don't compare because com comparison is the thief of joy. I'm also trying to bang this video out in an hour, so it's probably not gonna be the greatest video, but um, I'm trying to get it done, and that's what all that matters. This area is a really good area for street because you get the dog walkers and 
you know, sometimes office workers if you come here during the week, but it's a great place for street. So down here, we're approaching the Guterham, the kind of copy of the Flatiron building in New York City. But it's cool to shoot at night. It's not lit up, I don't believe, so not sure why, but yeah, it's cool to shoot. It's cool to do a time lapse, which I'll probably do here. And uh, show you the Guterham, and then maybe take you down to St. Lawrence Market. But let me get you back to my third point. It wasn't the greatest time lapse in the world, but we'll have to do. Um, yeah, the third point is to be grateful, guys. Just be grateful for what you have. Try your best. Make the best with what you have. Work hard, and you never know what can happen. So, you know, things aren't going to slow down in 2020. They're only going to get even worse. So if you're able to be grateful for just simple things, it, you never know how it might improve your mood, which will improve your day, which will hopefully improve your life. So I'm not trying to make this kind of like a philosophical video, but just kind of my two cents, really. 15 minutes left until I have to meet Mar Marwin. So let me show you St. Lawrence Market, another great place for street. We actually did do a meetup inside St. Lawrence, probably back in 2017. I can't remember, but it's a really cool place to like grab moments, you know, just get people, you know, buying bread or meeting friends or whatever. So we should probably do that, probably do that meetup again at some point. Actually, St. Lawrence is also a cool, a cool place to do light trails. Traffic going across the market. Okay, that's about it for the little walkthrough of Nick's meetup. Gotta go meet Marwin for a coffee. It always happens when I vlog, I have at least one person come up to me and ask, what am I doing? What is going on with you? Are you okay? Do you need help? He was a really nice guy, and I said, oh, I do, you know, vlogs about photography, blah, blah, blah. He goes, oh, there's this group. I'm not sure if you heard about them. And for a second, I thought he was going to say, get out and shoot, but he didn't. But that would have been cool if he said that. And I forgot to mention that if you go find, like, puddles, like, there's some puddles here from the rainstorm yesterday, but if you go find puddles, it's really cool. It's really cool to shoot the cooter ham with a puddle as, like, the reflection. So, you need a puddle or just bring your own bottle of water as some people that I've seen do. Marwin's running late, has, has like a shuttle bus from the subway or something. So good old TTC, but I need to go inside and warm up a little bit. So get a coffee and wait for the workshop. The fountain is better when the water's running. Hey guys, I'm back to where we're gonna start the workshops. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of it. Remember, there's always something to shoot. So get out and shoot. And we'll just see you later on, or we'll see you at the next meetup. Cue the siren. Thanks for watching. See you the next one. Peace. Okay, it's about four hours later, about seven o'clock, so I just met up with Nick and his meetup for a bit, and just walked down Front Street, and now I'm back in the warmth of Union Station. So it was a really great workshop. Thanks everybody for coming. Hopefully you guys learned something, and hopefully you guys had fun, and uh, hopefully see you at a meetup. I just wanted to show you guys what I have that's really cool and it's these buttons that Nick did. These get out shoot buttons, five dollars, and you can buy one and rep represent the community. So yeah, thanks, big thanks to Nick for arranging these buttons and uh, why not? <laughs>